Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show you one of Roots Magic's most popular features, Roots Magic To Go. Now, Roots Magic To Go is a little utility that we provide with Roots Magic that will install the full copy of Roots Magic on your flash drive and will also let you transfer files, Roots Magic databases, back and forth between your computer and that flash drive. Now, Roots Magic To Go is not intended to transfer Roots Magic databases back and forth between two different computers. Uh, if you wanted to do that, uh, we do have a video that shows how to do that, but basically you would back your database up from one computer onto a flash drive and then go to the other computer and restore the backup from that flash drive. What this is doing is installing the program and your data on the flash drive so you have something that you can carry around to libraries or whatever and plug it into any Windows computer, whether it has Roots Magic or not, and be able to run Roots Magic and work with your database. So I've plugged a flash drive, a blank flash drive, into drive J, into the J right here, and so there's nothing here, a completely blank flash drive. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way for now. Roots Magic is going to install, you're going to have two shortcuts. You're going to have the Roots Magic program itself. This is the one that starts Roots Magic. And you're going to have the Roots Magic to go icon, which is the same icon except with little wheels. And so I'm going to double click on that to start this up. Roots Magic to go, this little utility starts up. I am going to make sure that I select the flash drive. You always want to make sure you're working with the flash drive. And then I'm going to do one of two things. I can install Roots Magic. Right now it's not installed on the flash drive. And then after that, I can start transferring databases onto it. So I'm going to click on Install Roots Magic. And there are some options. I'm going to uncheck these first three. These are databases that Roots Magic uses, the place database for geocoding, things like that. You will want to leave everything checked. Don't uncheck any of these. I'm only doing that so that when I click Install, this install goes faster uh, because that place database is fairly large and can take a while to install. So just for the speed of this demo, I'm not actually uh, going to install that here, but you will want to. Okay, once Roots Magic to Go finishes installing Roots Magic on my flash drive, it's going to come up and ask, do you want to enter your registration key? And that's important because uh, this is a feature that's actually only in the full version, so you will need to enter your registration key. And once you do that, you can choose to enter your registration key now or enter it later. I'm going to go ahead and do it now just to get it out of the way. And it's going to ask me, I'm going to say for the full registered version, and I'm going to enter my name and that registration key. And I don't need to register. And if I've already registered when I enter, when I install Roots Magic on my computer, I don't need to install, or I don't need to register again when I install it on the flash drive. Okay, and now what you're seeing, this is actually Roots Magic being run from the flash drive. Okay, and it, again, it looks exactly the same as running it from your computer because it is the same. It's the exact same program Roots Magic's installed onto your computer. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to say I want to transfer data to my removable disk. Okay, and when I click on that, it's going to show me these are all files that are on my computer and they don't exist on my removable drive. They don't aren't on the flash drive because I haven't put any databases on my flash drive. Uh, now the question is, is where is it finding these? Where is it looking on my computer for these databases? And the answer is right here. Now by default, it's going to look in your documents folder, okay? Because that's where Roots Magic, the program, that you run on your computer, that's where it puts them by default. Now, that works great unless you have been keeping your Roots Magic databases in a different folder on your computer. Now, if that's the case, there's two things you can do. You can either click Change Folders and then change this computer data folder and go select the folder on your computer where your Roots Magic files are. Okay. Now, the problem with doing that is it doesn't remember that setting. Okay, in other words, when I 
get out of Roots Magic to go and close it the next time I come in, it's still going to have that other, that other folder. So if you want to change that folder permanently, what you're going to want to do is go into Roots Magic, run Roots Magic on your computer that's on your computer, go up here to Tools, go down to Program Options, and then go into Folders and set the default folder where you want your Roots Magic databases to be. Okay, in other words, wherever your Roots Magic files are, set this to that. Um, because that Roots Magic to go is going to pull this exact same folder, and that's what it's going to use as its default folder uh, when it displays the files. So go ahead and you can go ahead and set that there. And when you run your Roots Magic to go and click on that it will use whatever folder you have set as your default folder right there. Okay, now on my computer in that particular folder, I have all of these databases. Now, I may not want to copy all the databases that are on my computer over to my flash drive. I may only want to copy main and main2. Now, if I want to copy them all, I can, but in this case, I'm just going to copy main and main2. And so by checking those, I'm getting ready to copy them to the drive. I click transfer files and now if I go back in you're going to see they don't have checkboxes anymore because that file is now on my computer and it's on the removable drive they've got the same date they're the same size the files are the same in other words I now have my those two files on my computer are in sync with the two files on my flash drive okay, and I'm actually gonna hop out of here right now and I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring this back over. If you remember when we started, this removable disk was blank. So we're going to kind of show you what has happened. Now you will actually have an extra folder. We, right now there's a folder called Roots Magic Six. You will have another folder called Roots Magic Shared as well, which is where those that place database and those other databases that I didn't install get stored and you will have those and so you'll never need to go into that folder you don't need to use anything in that folder in the roots magic 6 folder you have a folder called data and that's where roots magic store in your database you don't need to worry about any of these other things they're all program files that the program uses but if I go into that data folder there's those two databases that I just synced up in other words I just used Roots Magic to go to copy them from my computer right here onto this flash drive. Now we've also added a little program called Roots Magic Launcher and that's just a little shortcut. So when I plug my flash drive, if I take my flash drive and I go to the library and I plug it into one of their Windows computers and I look at what's on my flash drive, I can just double click Roots Magic Launcher and I am now running Roots Magic on my flash drive. Okay, it doesn't matter if Roots Magic does not have to be installed on their computer, it is running it totally off of the flash drive. So I want to now open one of those files that I had copied over. And I'm going to say open a file. And you're, if, if it doesn't default to your root your flash drive, that Roots Magic 6 folder, and then the data, go ahead and switch to that. Go to your you know, go down here to your flash drive and then to the Roots Magic 6 folder and then into data. And you'll see those two files that we copied over. Or you, you'll see your files. I'm going to go ahead and open up main. Okay, and so now I have my database that's on my flash drive is the one I'm working on. And I'm working on it with a copy of Roots Magic that's running on the flash drive, completely independent of whether the computer has Roots Magic on it or not. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and make a change to this data as base as if I was at the library and I found that Howard never really was known as Howie. So I'm going to take Howard Smith and I'm going to take his nickname out of there and I'm going to go ahead and save that. Click close. So I've removed, all I've done is made one little change and you can make as many or as few changes as you want. So I've made one tiny little change to this main file on my flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and exit from there. Okay, and get that out of the way. When I get home, 
I can plug my flash drive with that modified database back into my computer and I run my roots magic to go on my computer and then I gotta go select that flash drive again and then I choose transfer data when I do that you're gonna now see main 2 still is the same so there still doesn't need to be copied back and forth because the copy on my computer is still exactly the same as the copy on the flash drive but you'll see that the copy of main is changed and it's newer on the flash drive than it is on mine so it's saying actually what you need to do is copy it from the flash drive onto your computer so to sync it up just click check transfer the files now when I go back in they are back to being the same the copy of main on my computer is now the same as the one on the flash drive and if I were to go run that on my computer if I were to go run it on my computer I would see that Howie was missing. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go run Roots Magic on my computer, and I'm going to go look at main, and that's the one I happen to be in right now. Go in, and Howie is missing. Roots Magic to Go has synced up that copy of Roots Magic between my computer and that flash drive. Now one last thing I want to point out because we do get some questions about this. After you've installed Roots Magic on your flash drive, whenever you come in here it's going to say reinstall. That doesn't mean you need to reinstall. Just look for the big green check mark. If you got a big green check mark that means you're good to go. Reinstall is just an option if you wanted to reinstall. Now when we release updates to Roots Magic, when you install, when you update the copy of Roots Magic that's on your computer, and then you run Roots Magic to go, if Roots Magic to go detects that the copy on your flash drive is older than the one that's on your computer, this button will change and have an option to update the copy on your flash drive. And you can just click that button, and that will go through and update the copy that's on your flash drive so that you can keep them up to sync. And that is how to use Roots Magic to go to install a full complete working copy of Roots Magic with all the features on a flash drive and to keep your databases in sync between your computer and that flash drive.